Hello people of YouTube, welcome back to my channel, Alberto Big Boots here and today we got a really good treat for you guys. I have my first official aftermarket mod for my Jeep JL. So I have a 2018 Jeep JL Turbo. That one comes with a 2 liter 4 cylinder engine that's turbocharged from the factory and I'm really happy with it. It drives amazing. But Mishimoto so happened to have made the first mod that I'm going to be installing on my Jeep other than the wheels and tires and the lift kit. So this is the first actual engine mod to say. The Jeep has the right looks and it definitely has the right, right height. Um, I've put a two and a half inch lift kit. I did not make a video about this, but I did mention in a previous video and I really like how it looks. But now it's finally time to work under the hood of this thing. Well, it looks like somebody in the mail doesn't really like my box, but I have this nice package from Mishimoto and it's our baffled oil catch can system. We're looking here, you can see a bunch of orange wrapping. We got some instructions. So basically this is the layout of my oil catch can and all the supplied parts. Then we look inside the box, you got your all your already supplied pre-cut hoses with everything. And then of course you got the catch can right here. There's some fittings and of course the bracket to mount it all. Here we have all the components laid out. It comes with two hoses, three clamps, two zip ties, the mounting bracket, two fittings for the catch can, and of course the catch can. Oh, the Jeep is jamming! Yeah! All right, now time to open the wet Jeep up. This always gets me. Oh, I gotta hold the stick somehow, wait. All right, here's the engine bay out of my Jeep JL. This is a two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. As you can see, it has a nice Honeywell Turbo by Garrett Turbo in there, top mounted. And then we have to work about in this area. I think the cat chain goes mounted right next to this thing here. So I have to remove this cover. Uh, I might have to remove the intake part, at least the front of it. That means I have to remove this bolt, this bolt, this clip right here, this little harness part. And then I have to undo this clamp right here. Then the top engine cover has two 10 millimeter bolts on it. You might be wondering why is there no intercooler on this? Well, instead of having a air to air intercooler, this has a water to air intercooler mounted directly on the intake manifold so the turbo is like pretty much straight connected into the intake manifold now disconnect this sensor right here should be a regular plug then gonna take this off from here and remove these two bolts here then remove the intake clamp And my screwdriver is gone. Take two. Continue where we left off. <laughs> All right, that should be enough. I should be able to pull this off from this pipe. I have a clamp right here too, so I can just remove this clamp. And I can just pretty much pull this out of the way. I'm gonna fold this over since I'm still connected right here. You can see inside the turbo now. Nothing a little light can't fix, right? And there it is. This is the turbocharger. Oh, that's a cool little design there around the blow valve inlet. You can see the muffler right here, right? Has these little perforated holes on it. So it acts like a resonator for the turbo so you can't hear the spool. Believe it or not, I already have oil inside my turbo. Yeah, this car is pretty much new and it has about 10,000 miles on it right now. And yes, I'm already seeing oil inside the turbo inlets. That means it's a perfect time to install this oil catch can. You can take a good look in there and you can see there, wait, let me try to shine this up properly. You can see there is 
shiny stuff around the turbo inlet I can see it with my bare eye really good uh, so there's oh, there you go you can see the oil just like sitting around there in the intake so yeah that means that we need to install a cash can on this engine moving on with the install now we have all the room that we need to access up front of the engine bay we will need to loosen these bolts right here so we have to remove them but not remove this part so it's one two so you just pretty much need to undo these bolts right here and then the plates gonna be sandwiched with this part moving on to this side we need to install the catch can on the bracket so you have this three little bolts moving on to the catch can side we have the catch can here and we have to install this bracket so it's pretty much gonna go just like this so I have to remove this three then make sure to put some permatech blue thread locker in those so this will hold the bolts in place but it won't make them like super hard to get them out but at least they won't vibrate out of place just put a little dab of this stuff here and then should be ready to install this just like this gently apply a little bit of blue thread locker on this then we're gonna install it on the catch can then we're gonna do the exact same thing with the last bolt just a little tiny drop that's all it takes now with that this catch can is not gonna fall off or anything and make sure it's all straight Got a nice knock tight and here we go ready to install we still got one more thing to install and it's these fittings i like to use a little bit of permatex dielectric grease to loop these o-rings up before installation pretty much goes like this and that's one then repeat the same thing with the other one a little bit of that electric grease on this o-ring put it on there you go now we're ready before we head on to the jeep here's a basic diagram how it goes it has an inlet and outlet so that means the bigger hose goes on the inlet side right here and the outlet goes into the intake side i want to remove both of the bolts holding this bracket on here and then I'm going to slide this part right on. So it slides right underneath this bracket. So just lift up on this, slide it underneath, and it's good to go. I will film the whole thing, but I only have one hand to hold the camera and one hand to work. So it's very difficult. And now it's all installed, so this thing is able to move freely, and this thing is all good to go. Now we need to intercept this hose. It has to be pulled from here and over here just from this clip. So it's removed on this side, and then on this side it's basically just twist it and get it out of the way. So here's a stock pipe. This short pipe just goes like this, then you just clip this in here, push the pin, and you're locked in. I really appreciate that this kit comes in with German clamps instead of the regular ones. So these are way more durable and they won't strip than the regular clamps. So now we just gotta connect this end all the way around here and connect it into the other side of the intake uh, of the catch can. The install portion of this video is pretty much done. So I got this thing clamped right here, connects to this side. I zip tie right here against this heater hose so it doesn't move. So it kind of like doesn't fit very well on this pipe or this bracket. And then it loops around here, another zip tie right here so it doesn't wiggle around. Then it's secure right here with one of those nice German clamps. Then on this other end, it has to go through the catch can and then flows right back into the intake with a nice OEM clip. So I just basically have to put the intake pipe back in place, bolt it down, put the front cover, put the engine cover back on, and we're good to go. Of course, look who decided to show up after I'm done, right? Yeah. As soon as I'm putting the last few bolts, he shows up. Yeah, that's how always, you do it. always to steal I don't the camera. Work. You never work. I'll hold the camera for you. You didn't hold the camera, I had to do everything with one hand and one hand with the camera so I couldn't show the whole process. See, he should have been here like half an hour ago. It's easy, bro. Come on. <laughs> it's What'd already done. Anyway? So I put this nice Mishimoto catch can down there. Can you find it? 
He can't even reach the Jeep. It's so tall. He can't even look in the engine bay. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Tippy toes. Well, the Jeep is ready to go. So we can go on a little test drive and make sure that everything works perfectly. Well, we definitely have to take the Jeep for a ride, right? But I ran out of battery, so I couldn't test drive it earlier. Oh, let's test this thing. I hate that it takes forever to ship sometimes. Sometimes it ships quick, but sometimes it's taking a while. But regardless, even though I have 37 inch tires, this thing is pretty quick. Alright, I'm trying to get to this restaurant place. I'm starving. Well, I'm gonna get some food with some really awesome people. This is what I got about the installation of the catch can and a little test drive. The Jeep's actually really good, but it's a good catch that Mishimoto designed this catch can for the Jeep. As you can see, I had oil in my intake and now I'm able to take care of that and make sure I don't keep like putting a lot of oil through the intake and getting all dirtied up especially since my jeep has a internal intercooler so a water to air intercooler integrated in the intake manifold so if you put a lot of oil through that it might like start creating some gunk and clog it up whatever but with this nice catch can we can uh, make sure the intake stays clean and then you separate the oil from the intake and not burn through the engine for like a couple weeks or maybe a week from now, I'll try to uh, empty the catch can and see if we collected any oil. And I'll keep you guys on that on that. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more awesome content. And also check out that link below for the Mishimoto catch can. I'll see you guys tomorrow.